And there they go. Appian and appealing Lalabella begin the best. Butterfly Girl is third with two free nights and Judgment Free in Sacred Canyon is the last of all. So it will be appealing Lalabella to make the pace. Appian to the far outside. She's a little wide. Judgment Free saves ground. Sacred Canyon's in a tight spot from the rail. Two free nights is three deep and Butterfly Girl is at the back. So there's not much pace on with appealing Lalabella on the lead. Appian is right there to the outside. Judgment Free is third. Two Free Knights has the fourth spot, then Sacred Canyon. And running with them from the outside is Butterfly Girl. So they are absolutely crawling up front. 26 and one fifth. Appealing Lalabella, three parts of a length to Appian. Judgment Free, two off the lead from the rail. Two Free Knights from between runners. Butterfly Girl with a wide journey. And Sacred Canyon now commencing her bid from the back marker. Appealing Lalabella has been able to control this very soft pace. And she has plenty of pursuers. Judgment Free, Sacred Canyon, two free nights. Appian's been getting the worst of it. She's been wide throughout. And Butterfly Girl is at the back. Two free nights to challenge appealing Lalabella. Appian makes her move to the extreme outside. Sacred Canyon is in the fourth spot. She races outside of Judgment Free. And Butterfly Girl is the, at the back three by three at the quarter pole. Appian to tackle appealing Lalabella and two free nights. And Judgment Free now tries to quicken, and here comes Judgment Free up the inside. Appealing Lalabella, happy into the far outside. Judgment Free along the rail. Two Free Knights fights on. It's Appealing Lalabella and Judgment Free. Appealing Lalabella, Judgment Free from the rail. Judgment Free right alongside of Appealing Lalabella. Judgment Free and Appealing Lalabella. It's Judgment Free, a narrow winner from a. It's official. 2635, the exacta $82. The trifecta $46.25. The dollar super $270.50. Second race, scratch number five, pay the vet. Five, pay the vet out of race two. Number one, merger of banks and unpublished. Ready for the race. And there they go. Mounted Cop is out for the lead. Merger of banks comes away in second with Best Buddy to his outside. Border Agent is at the fourth position, and the early trailer is in Caustic Prince. So Mounted Cop makes the pace all by himself. Two and a half lengths to Merger of Banks, chasing him from second. It's about a length and a half back to Best Buddy in third. Almost three lengths to in Caustic Prince. Border Agent is the last of all. The race to the three-eighths, Mounted Cop, still with the lead all by himself. Two and a half lengths to Merger of Banks. Another length or so back to Best Buddy. Two and a half to Encaustic Prince. Nothing from Border Agent. Mounted Cop still calling the shots. He leads past the quarter pole. Merger of Banks continues to chase him throughout. Mounted Cop, the one to catch at the 316s. Uncontested and controlling the pace all the way to the eighth pole. Merger of Banks continues to plug along from second. Encaustic Prince tries to close into third. Mounted Cop at the 16th, still with the lead to himself. And Caustic Prince makes a move for second. Mounted Cop uncontested. He's a gate to wire winner. And Caustic Prince second. Merger of Banks. Third race scratch one all about that Ben part of the entry. Five Zertap, an unpublished workout here at Finger Lakes, 5th of September, a half mile, 50 and four fifths, breezing over a good racetrack. Our third race is in 25 minutes at 2.10. There's a day to mark down on your calendar. It is Wednesday, September the 25th. Horsing around a tribute to Kevin. Ready for today's third. And there they go. Smart thinking and Toasty Boy begin the best. That LDK is mine strides into third. Then Patty Knuckles, Mucho Mas Grande, and Sir Tap is the last of all. Toasty Boy picking up the pace from Smart Thinking. Toasty Boy and Smart Thinking side by side. It's a break of about five or six lengths to that LDK is mine. Almost another four lengths to Patty Knuckles with Mucho Mas Grande, and they have about three lengths on Sir Tap. The opening quarter one in 23 and four fifths. Toasty Boy to the backstretch run a narrow lead from Smart Thinking, who stays very close from his inside. They are going pretty quick for the level. They build up a huge lead. Let's call it about nine or ten lengths to that LDK is mine. Almost three lengths to Mucho Mas Grande outside of Patty Knuckles. About three and a half to Sir Tap. 48 seconds the half, and the battle continues up front between Toasty Boy and Smart Thinking. 
eight lengths to that LDK is mine, getting a little closer, heading into the turn. About four lengths to Mucho Mas Grande, trying to shake Claire from Patty Knuckles. Sir Tap is at the back. Toasty Boy and Smart Thinking, a diminishing three and a half. Here comes that LDK is mine from third. He's ready to tackle the top two shortly after the quarter pole. Break of about five or six to Mucho Mas Grande. Another two to Patty Knuckles. Sir Tap's at the back. Smart Thinking gets away from Toasty Boy. Here's that LDK is mine. Smart Thinking and that LDK is mine right alongside. Furlong to travel. Smart Thinking still with plenty left. Smart Thinking, he loves to win races, looking for his 19th career score. That LDK is mine, got the run of the race. He's having trouble pushing on by. Here he is in the concluding stages. That LDK is mine, finally gets up with a slow. 6-2 exact to $58. 6-2-4 trifecta, $88.25. Dollar super, 6-2-4 won $685.50. 4-6 double, $43.246. Dollar Early pick three, $173.50. Race four, we'll start our pick five. Carry over just shy of seven. Pick five. And there they go. Cold Sober is sent to the lead. Shook him up as trying to show pace along with You'll Like It. Mr. Mui Bien is in the clear from the far outside decisively as the last of five. Cold Sober makes the pace. Shook him up his partner from the rail. You'll Like It is third to his outside Mr. Mui Bien advancing with a clear run and decisively bides his time at the tail. So it's Cold Sober on the lead. Cold Sober making the pace. Mr. Mui Bien on level terms heading into the turn. Shook him up's back to third. You'll like it going with him decisively on hold at the back marker. 22 and 4 fifths for Cold Sober with the advantage three parts of a lake. Mr. Mui Bien is right there applying pressure. Cold Sober still with the lead. Mr. Mui Bien being pushed on just a little bit from second. Cold Sober with the advantage. And here's decisively with a big rush. Decisively has gone from last making a move for second. Mr. Mui Bien is backpedaling. So Cold Sober has the race at the 3 16 Decisively is the late threat. Cold Sober with the lead now past the eighth pole, two and a half lengths. Decisively continues to close in from second, but he's not getting to Cold Sober. And it's another one for Joel Cruz. Cold Sober in cruise control. He rolls all the way from decisively. Shook him up. You'll like it. Exact to thirty-nine dollars sixty cents, a trifecta fifty-nine dollars thirty-seven cents, a dollar super two hundred sixty-seven dollars fifty cents. Six seven double one hundred two dollars four six seven pick three sixty-five dollars fifty cents two with four five with six with seven. The early pick four is a good one. Eight hundred seven. And there they go. Social Fan is showing good speed from the far outside. He is quicker than not a coupon and reason for gold. A Johnny Jr. has the fourth position and Shades of Brilliance is the last of the quintet. Social Fan makes the pace quite easily. Two and a half lengths to reason for gold. A half a length in front of not a coupon. Another length and a half back to Shades of Brilliance racing inside of Johnny Jr. 22 and three fifths. Social Fan well within himself. Uncontested. Better than three and a half heading into the turn from reason for gold. Another length to the other three. Johnny Jr. from the far outside covering Shades of Brilliance, who covers not a coupon. Social Fan still isolated with the lead to himself. Nearly three lengths to reason for gold. Johnny Jr. is progressing nicely up the inside. He makes a move for second. Still Social Fan in control, working with nearly four lengths. Social Fan popped the starting gate. He has not been troubled throughout. He's the one to catch at the 3 16s. Johnny Jr. makes a move into second. Reason for Gold's even paced from third, then Shades of Brilliance and not a coupon. Social Fan still with the lead at the 16th. Better than two. Johnny Jr. is running a good one in second. Social Fan with the advantage in deep stretch. He goes all the way on the front end. Johnny Jr. second. Reason for Gold third. Shades of Brilliance fourth. 7-6 seven, exact and $9.20. 7-6-5 seven, trifecta $3.80. Dollar super 7 6 5 $10.20. A 7 7 double, $26.80. 7 3 consolation double, $12.60. $43.50. 6 7 And there they go. If I had a chance, wins the start. Saloon Girl is showing good speed. She's going to pick it up, and here's the heavy favorite already finding the front. She's not bluffing now, makes a move into second. If I had a chance, is back to third with Canarsie Princess. Smart Broad is the last to five. 
Saloon Girl has the lead, about a head advantage to She's Not Bluffing from her outside. Canarsie Princess is third against the rail. If I had a chance, matching her, two and a half off the two leaders and a length and a half in front of Smart Broad. It's about four or five lengths from first to last. 22 and three fifths, Saloon Girl, and she's not bluffing. She's not bluffing. Now puts her head in front. Saloon Girl will have to counter. If I had a chance, is beginning her bid, although she's being pushed on, trying to stay with the top two. It's a break of nearly three lengths to Canarsie Princess with Smart Broad. Saloon Girl right back at she's not bluffing. If I had a chance to the stand side, Canarsie Princess tries to quicken from the rail. If I had a chance, gets to the lead at the eighth pole. Saloon Girl is back to second. If I had a chance, hits the front. She's looking for two in a row. If I had a chance in front. From Saloon Girl, Smart Broad and Canarsie Princess. 6-4 exact at $24.20. The trifecta, 6 4 five, $15.75. Dollar Super 6453, $108.25. 76 double, 2340. Pick 3, 776, 5262. 736 consolation, $25.75. And there they go. Stumbling start for Bustin to please. Risky analysis contests the pace. Here's her stable mate. Party in the rain from the rail. Troll crossing splits the Progno duo. Bustin to please with the stumble at the start from the far outside. Awesome debate and Diamond Gem Brady. The Grays are advancing from the rail and in the two path. Twice for honeys at the back. It's a pretty compact group. Party in the rain is asked for speed by John Davila Jr. She obliges and kicks away at the three eights two and a half to awesome debate with diamond jen brady break of nearly four lengths to twice for honey then risky analysis bust into please and at the back is troll crossing party in the reins running a big one to the quarter pole nearly two and a half awesome debate is giving a good chase from second party in the rain with the lead well off the rail awesome debate has a big opening from the inside she tries to quicken into the seed Party in the rain, awesome debates getting closer up the inside. Here comes awesome debate to tackle party in the rain. Awesome debate right on by up the inside. Awesome debate for two in a row and three out of four. Party in the rain second and twice for honey risky analysis. Bust into please. Dollars 25 cents, a dollar super, $102.25. 7.62, pick three, $30.75. One more race on the Wednesday card. Scratch the two, Zoo Blue by you. Five crossing Alaska, one pound over. 24 minutes until. And there they go. Always kissable shows pace. Grandarella hustled away from the far outside. Party at Salt Lake vying for third with Flamingo Chick. Chapel Party runs with them. So too does Chornaya Crisota. Crossing Alaska, saving ground. Frosty on the case is the last of all. Grandarella one in the lead. She makes the lead from Flamingo Chick, who's eager to go. Luis Perez wants her to sit chilly. Always kissable is to the far outside, making a move into second. Party at Salt Lake is reserved in the fourth spot from the rail, flanked by Chapel Party and crossing Alaska. Chornaya Crisota runs with them four deep. Frosty on the case is still the last of eight, and she's about seven lengths off the pace. 24 seconds for Grandarella and Rudy Ignacio. They lead by more than two and a half to Always Kissable and Flamingo Chick. Party at Salt Lake with their ground-saving trip. Crossing Alaska and Chapel Party are five lengths off the lead. Chornaya Crisota runs with them. Frosty on the case still at the back, guided to the far outside. 48 and two for Grandarella. Two and a half at the three eights. Flamingo Chick makes a move for second inside of Always Kissable. Party at Salt Lake's fourth, six or seven off the lead. Grandarella still with the lead. Two and a half for three. Flamingo Chick's making a nice move after her. Frosty on the case. Chapel Party. Chornaya Crisota crossing Alaska's at the back. Here comes Flamingo Chick making her move for the lead. And Flamingo Chick finds the front and kicks away. Grandarella is spent. And they have a final furlong to travel. And it's all on the front end. Flamingo Chick. Flamingo Chick at three to two. Flamingo Chick for two in a row. Who's going to finish second? Party at Salt Lake from Grandarella. Fourth and fifth involved.
And the nightcap is official. 3194. There's that Wednesday pick five. Thirteen hundred eighty-five dollars fifty cents. Three one exact the twenty.